Today's objective is to solve systems of equations using substitution. When it comes to solving equations, one of the easier ways to do it is by substitution. The first way to use substitution is by solving for one of the variables and plugging it in. For example, if you have a problem such as this one, 4x plus 2y is equal to 8, and x minus y is equal to 5, then you simply solve for one of the variables in either one of these equations and plug it into the other one that you didn't use. In this case, it would be much easier to use this second equation and solve for the x because you can simply add the y over and you will have what your x equals. So in this case, x is equal to 5 plus y. Then you simply take this and you plug it into your first equation, which is the one you didn't use. So therefore, you have 4 times 5 plus y plus 2y is equal to 8. You distribute, of course, and you have 20 plus 4y plus 2y is equal to 8. You combine your like terms, and you have 20 plus 6y is equal to 8. Subtract your 20 over. Remember, you're trying to isolate your y, and you have 6y. <coughs> is equal to negative 12. Divide your 6 and you have y is equal to negative 2. As soon as you find your y, you plug it into either one of your first equations to get your x. So in this case, you have x minus negative 2 is equal to 5. So therefore, you have x plus 2 is equal to 5 and your x equals 3. And that is your first way to solve a system of equations using substitution. Another example would be if you have two equations in slope-intercept form. It might seem harder, but it's actually easy because your variable, in this case y, is already solved for. Therefore, because y is equal to both of these, you can just set the two equations equal to each other. So you have 20x minus 10 is equal to negative 5x plus 15. Again, in this case, you add the 10 over, so you have 20x is equal to negative 5x plus 25. You add your 5x over, you have 25x is equal to 25, you have x equals 1. Again, you plug your 1 into either one of your first equations. Um, in this case, I'm going to do this one because of the lower numbers. Then you would have y is equal to negative 5 times 1 plus 15. So you have y is equal to negative 5 plus 15. Your y is equal to 10. And that is your second way of using substitution. Your third way is when it is being applied. In this case, you have two small pitchers and one large pitcher that can hold eight cups of water. One large pitcher can hold two cups of water when you take away one small one. How many cups of water can each pitcher hold? Your first equation comes from the small pitcher and the large pitcher adding up to create 8 cups of water. Therefore, you have 2x, letting x be the small pitcher, plus 1y, letting y be the large pitcher, is equal to 8, because that's the total cups of water that they can hold. Your second equation comes from the fact that you're trying to find how many cups of water each one can hold after you take away a small one from a large one, which equals 2. So therefore, if you take a large one, y, minus a small one, x, you get 2 cups of water. And that's where your second equation comes in. After you find your equations, it's much like your first example, except... Obviously, the y and the x are reversed, but it's still simple. You add your x over, you have y is equal to 2 plus x. Again, you plug this into your 
first equation that you didn't use, then you have 2x plus 2 plus x is equal to 8. And again, you add like terms, so 2x plus 1x is equal to 3x plus 2 is equal to 8. And you have x is equal to 2, and that is the small picture, keep in mind. And you plug in this into, again, either one of these equations. So y minus 2 is equal to 2. So y is equal to 4. And that is your large picture. And there is your application problem where your small picture can hold 2 cups of water and your large picture can hold 4 cups of water. And that is how you solve a system of equations using substitution.